Hello again. My name is Sister Jackie Michelson. I am a resident monastic at the Church of the Holy Internet. Today's lesson is titled, See the Light. It is case number three from the collection of koans of creative reality. Prelude. To read the instructions turn it on. To see the instructions turn it off. In between it's only shadows. Where is it, right now? Main case. The voice in our heads is the one and only light. It is what illuminates the world around us. The light doesn't even have to be a voice in our heads, it is the stream of ideas, or mental formations about reality, that come into our awareness. It is always there and there is nothing we can do about it. If we didn't have it, we wouldn't even be able to read and understand these words. Before we can see that light, we need to know where it is. We don't know where it is if we've never seen it before. After all, how would we recognize it? We don't know what light is, until we've seen it, even though that light is all around us at all times. We need to see the light for what it is. The light that we want to see is not an external source of light, like the sun or a lamp. We don't go looking to light up our lives with an external source of light, because that source is going to be stationary in space. We can't take a lamp post around with us everywhere we go walking. Now that we know that the light is inside of ourselves, we can go about seeing it. How can we see light that is inside of our skulls when our eyes point outward? A thought lasts but a brief quantity of time. A thought is like a lightning bolt. The mental formations that expand on that thought gives it substance and make it seem real. We cannot stop the lightning strikes, nor know when, where, or how they will affect us. However what we do have control over is what we do with the time in between lightning strikes. A lightning strike is a random thought, or mental formation, that comes into our awareness. In the moments that follow the lightning bolt, the default mind will dwell on the bolt and all of its branches, and just like a real lightning strike the flash of light will remain in our eyes for a while. Our default behavior is to live out our lives in a reality that exists only by what is illuminated during those lightning flashes. So we create an electrical storm in our heads, with endless lightning strikes, hoping to get a better sense of reality. This for sure is the wrong way, it is like a dog chasing its own tail. Now that we've seen the light about what that light is actually about, we should ask ourselves if we really want to so-called see the light that everyone seems to make such a big important deal out of. There is a lot of responsibility in return for being able to see the light. It is important not to forget that the light is your thought stream that prevents us from seeing the real baseline reality in our default state of awareness. Then if we ask ourselves if we want to see that light, obviously the answer is no. We do not want to get caught up in that thought stream that only provides brief lightning bolts to illuminate our reality. Postlude. Last one out. Turn off the lights. During Kothi services, we like to light a lot of candles so that we can turn off all the lights. The only exception is when someone needs to use the bathroom in the middle of the night. We don't need anyone pooping in the wrong place. The person assigned to house cleaning always complains about the shit all over the place. Coincidentally, that is your first test at Kothi, and any other monastery for that matter, is to see how well you can handle instructions by cleaning the toilets. It's simple enough, and better than shoveling bad smelling compost in 100 degree heat. In order to take full advantage of this opportunity for introspection, it is important that you have sufficient light to illuminate your world view. How does the light brighten yours? By the way, our patented pendings and glasses were designed to help you to filter out all of those annoying lightning strikes. 
If you don't own a pair you can get them free by asking in our Facebook group. Thank you so much for watching this Zen teaching video. You have gained merit that will blossom into brightness that will light your life. May dog bless you with peace and happiness. Amen. Gosh show.